Hey, this is Steve uh, coming from Las Vegas, uh, building my grow tower for my aquaponics system. Uh, this is a, an aquaponics system, not a hydroponics uh, tower. Uh, a little bit of a difference is the hydroponics towers are just kind of a self-contained all-in-one bucket system, whereas this is going to be tied into my larger aquaponics system that's powered by my fish and uh, the water system uh, with the same pumps and everything else. So <clears throat> kind of just uh, want to run you through the build process. This is kind of step one. I'm going to end up doing probably a second video, maybe even a third video, uh, depending upon how much uh, work I have to throw into this thing. And I want to make sure that I kind of share my thoughts and my experiences so far uh, with you guys. Uh, this is my first of two grow towers that I'm going to be building. As you can tell, I've got one of the cup holders already adhered and glued in there. This was kind of my trial run to make sure this worked. Big difference I noticed between hydroponics towers and aquaponics towers is that I've noticed is that guys have been using uh, epoxy fence glue and things like that anything with the word epoxy stay away from because that will be toxic to your fish what I ended up finding was uh, if you look over here I've got mini size uh, multi temp glue sticks it will be hard to see but on the back there there you go it says non-toxic uh, you definitely want to keep it nice and safe for your fish that's always key glue gun Sure, everybody might have one of those here, wife or something like that might have one. Um, get that, get it key. I'm going to go ahead and throw a glue stick outside today. I do live in Las Vegas. It is uh, starting to get warmer outside, probably like in the 90s. It's beginning of June, so things are starting to toast up. My system's probably about uh, seven, eight months old, so I built it up in November last year, 2014. So um, inventory of stuff that you need. Okay, so we'll start. PVC, okay. This is a Schedule 40 uh, 3 inch PVC, pretty heavy. I went to Lowe's, went to Home Depot. They don't carry it in stock. I actually had to order a special order to get it in. So as you can tell, this is three inches wide um, and this is cut. Uh, the other piece I need was a uh, four inch PVC post. I've seen some guys do it with five inch. I'm electing the four inch route. It'll be a little bit more streamlined. Um, Probably a little bit more uh, room for the water to splash around on the inside and get on the roots. That's just going to be my opinion. I'm not sure yet, but four inch was easy to find. Uh, again, I probably I had to ship it to get it sent here because uh, it wasn't in stock at the, the local Home Depot or Lowe's here in Las Vegas. I'm not sure around the country. It's other places. Um, your three inch net pots. Uh, these are going to be very, very important. Uh, three inches. They have a nice little ring on them. So when you take them, and put them inside your holder. If you don't drop them, take them, put them inside your holder, they stay nice and firmly inside. And if you look, they actually stick down uh, fairly well inside of the pot. Um, they're gonna be they're gonna be offset from each other or actually not or mirrored from each other on each opposite side. So I'm gonna end up having on the bottom side here on the opposite side, it's gonna be uh, perfectly lined up. So so the pots won't be hitting each other, uh, which is good. Um, the other thing you want to look at too is I picked these up from Amazon. Um, they're actually from a company called Ponix Farm. The vertical height, so this height right here, uh, is actually the thing that you want to be most concerned with. As you can see, as I said, it sticks down there because I picked up another set of net pots and that other net set of net pots actually had a shorter height from where my two fingers are right now. So make sure you get the, the taller ones if possible because you want the roots kind of growing in there and being supported and growing inside the, the uh, aquaponics grow tower. Um, so other inventory stuff I needed besides, of course, glue sticks, 4-inch PVC, 3-inch uh, PVC, 4-inch PVC post. Um, inventory stuff to get. This stuff is works wonders, and I'll show you what it is for in a second. This is general purpose um, spray adhesive. Kind of the stuff that you use to spray and adhere pictures onto photo albums we're going to use that here also uh, tools to use i've got my jigsaw tape measure uh, drill scissors and definitely get some of these these are clamps these things are wonderful they'll hold on to everything that you need to do for this project um, so definitely buy some clamps uh, and i'll show you exactly how i use those in a bit uh, a couple pieces of scrap wood will definitely come in very, very handy for this whole project. Last tool you need is the miter saw. Uh, this thing is a wonderful invention. Goes ahead and chops all the stuff I need. I still have it set up for 45 degrees because I was cutting 
my 45 inch uh, or my 45 degree 3 inch PVC uh, net cup holders. Uh, first thing I did when I set this whole process up was um, this was at a 90 degree. Uh, this was at 90 degrees, so straight this way, um, and basically took one of the clamps that I showed you. Here's another one right here. Took a clamp and basically clamped just a small piece of two by four onto the guide rail. Okay, and the reason I did this was this spot that I measured out from here to the blade surface was four and a half inches. So I cut PVC pipes just like this. This is longer than four and a half inches, but it was four and a half inches. So I cut those all evenly, cut a bunch of them, basically two runs of PVC pipe. Then what I did was I took the miter saw, put it on a 45 degree angle, just like you see it is here, and built a jig and put the jig on top of the saw. And so the way I built the jig was piece of two by four, another piece of two by four, a couple little small two by four pieces, just kind of screwed to the bottom and a piece of plywood. So essentially, if you look at it, I drilled some holes in the bottom, uh, screwed in, screwed in the, from the bottom of the plywood to the, into the two by fours and kind of stabilized this whole thing. If you look, this width right here is four and a half inches. So when I take my four and four and a half inch PVC pipes, they slid right in there. They stayed nice and sturdy. I took my chop saw, my miter saw, and just kind of went and go ahead and just shove it on down. Um, as you see, I've got cuts here and cuts here. That's basically, you're, you're going to get those no matter what. Just make sure you set your blade or your blade guard to, to stop at a certain height. So this way you don't cut all the way through um, the plywood in the bottom and the whole thing kind of stays together. Again, clamps are very, very important because you're going to want to clamp here and clamp here. And this way, when you go ahead and start cutting all your pieces, everything is good to go. Make sure you put on safety goggles. Definitely put on a breather. Um, there is white residue all over the place from the PVC pipe. There's just shards everywhere, even though I have a bag. Um, my whole entire garage looks like a coke addict exploded out of it. So definitely make sure you kind of take care of that. Again, um, housekeeping, housekeeping rules or tips. You know, here is, here's a, a botch piece that I had, but you can kind of get an idea on how the whole thing ends up working out when once you get the jig done and of course doing this one-handed is always a lot harder in your recording video but there you go gives you an idea on how it, how it'd be all set up and how it's going to cut the pieces will all become nice and even and as you can see i've got a bag here and there's just a ton of pieces right and they're all the same they're all perfectly cut they're all nice and clean so when i build the tower itself it's going to look great um so process wise um, this was the first one I glued on. I wanted to try it out because of the glue sticks. I never saw anybody use glue sticks before, so I said, I'm going to kind of see how this goes. I pray to God it works. Um, if not, I should be able to clean up the, the glue off of it fairly well and try to use a different glue in the future if I need to, if, if it doesn't work out. Um, but So this was the first one. What I highly recommend doing is, please note, cut all your holes first. Don't glue anything on because as you're going to have to keep rotating and cutting, you're going to cut your holes, and if you have something on the other side and you can't clamp it down, it's not going to work out well for you. So, as you see, I've got one set of holes cut already. The other sets are not that I used. So, took a piece of paper, as you can see here, and took one of my cup holders and drew a hole on the inside with a pencil. And did the same thing across all four. Took it, run it through a copy machine, um, you know, hope you got an all-in-one printer or whatever you got at home, run it through a copy machine, life will be a lot easier, at least everything will be more consistent. Then what I do is I cut them all out and I end up with pieces like this, okay? Really, really simple. I take them and then glue them on with the spray adhesive right here, glue them on, put the spray, spray some on the paper, adhere the paper right to it, and this thing doesn't move. It's nice and nice and glued down well tight so then what you just basically do is take your drill drill a hole in it just throw it in the center it doesn't really matter where it's at and then take your jigsaw once you get it through the hole put your jigsaw through and then just cut your hole around uh, be very very careful take your time again use safety glasses please um, another interesting thing i did also too just to kind of make life a lot easier uh, as you can see i got the rings over here i'll flip over one more time 
Um, this is kind of show you the lineup that I did. So I measured each of these pieces. And from here to here, as you can see, that is five inches. So if you go ahead and take this and put it on the PVC pipe, this is a five inch spacing. I took it uh, basically a square and I start for started my first spot five inches down and then I did five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches, five inches and kept going. Each one of these, the way I set it up and the way I'm going to put it inside of a bucket will have five holes, one, two, three, four, five holes on every single side. So this grow tower will actually hold 20 net pots. One of the things I did also too was after not, and I, I scored every single side with pencil to make sure I get that five inch mark there so I know exactly where I'm going. But one of the things I did too to make life that much, e to make life easier was if you could see, I drew X's. Okay, real dummy tip, but draw an X. You know exactly where the hole is going to go and you're going to be you're going to be much much happier that you did that so this way you just take your, your spray adhesive you glue your circle on you drill your hole and you're good to go so um you know that that's pretty much the most of it uh as i said when you go ahead and actually get ready to drill your holes so for example this will be set up like this when i go ahead and drill my holes your clamps that i told you about before clamp it down to your table or, or work surface, whatever you have. This way, when you, drill your, when you drill and you cut your holes, this will be nice and stable and held down to the table there. So just kind of just things that you do, you know, to make sure that this is gonna be that much of an easier project for you to do. Uh, don't be intimidated by it. Take your time, uh, work on it. Again, just a quick recap. Um, five inch lines, the, the template that I used from one of my cups, the PVC pipes, uh, I said these will be five inches, four and a half inches, sorry, my bad, four and one half inches long. Again, four and one half inches long. You basically cut them on a 45 degree angle. You get two pieces just like this out of it. You'll end up having a bag full just like I have there. Three inch net cups. Make sure that they're the right height. Um, the higher, the better. So this way you, you have plenty of room when you throw your net cups again inside so that they have plenty of surface area for the roots to get watered. Um, again, three inch PVC, four inch PVC post, spray adhesive, take your templates and adhere them down onto the PVC post. Um, drill, jigsaw, tape measure, clamps, very, very important, scissors, uh, chop saw, and go ahead and build your jig for building this and i'll take a look at this one more time just for you guys to get an idea on how i did it just simple piece of plywood at the bottom and two by fours and also note just drill pilot holes first before you put the the actual screws in on the bottom here uh if you can see here i've got a screw here screw here drill your pilot holes first because this way the wood won't split the plywood won't split you won't have any problems It'll be much more secure together uh, for it to go. So I think that's it. Uh, and then last but not least, your adhesive. As I said, I'm using glue sticks. These are non-toxic with a glue gun here. Um, you know, I got these at Harbor Freight. Hopefully this will work out for you. Uh, as I said, I'm going to put one out in the sun today and see if it melts or not. And then last but not least, just a five-gallon bucket with a lid on it. Uh, and then that'll be in part two that I'll show you in the video. So. Uh, sorry to go long on this one. I've done a couple of different iterations of this video, but uh, hopefully this one's the last take. Again, uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Go ahead and like the video. As I said, the version two of the video is going to come up real soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. I don't know if I mentioned it. These are five inches apart too. So again, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.